This is a short video demonstrating how to use a simple centering tool in conjunction with the mock controller software to move your gantry around to exact locations on your work surfaces. Uh, we've got two simple tools that you can make, uh, just a piece of aluminum angle iron with a lead hooked up to it, and then a uh, one inch piece of copper pipe that with a lead soldered onto it that's been inset into a piece of plexiglass and the plexiglass has a uh, crosshair scribed on the bottom of it and the way this works is you can move the crosshair over a position on your workpiece jog the uh, your tool into the middle of it and then run the software from the mock program and it'll automatically find the center for you so the mock software modification that I made looks like this. Uh, we added a probe panel to the standard screen, or the blue, mock blue screen. And it allows you to specify that you want a probe in the plus x, minus x, plus y, minus y. Or the little circle in the center there allows you to center on the uh, pipe. And then you can also click on the Z arrow there to cause the gantry to descend to the work surface. And you can specify the thickness of the plate that you're contacting, so it'll automatically set the DRO to the surface of your workpiece. Or if you put a zero in that field, uh, it'll just leave the gantry positioned where it touched your plate. Now, before you do anything, you should always check to make sure that you actually have a good connection to the I.O pin and the way you do that is you you touch your your piece to the uh, to your uh, bit make sure that's actually contacting when you touch the bit the touch test light will turn on and off you want to make sure that's working because you don't want to have a runaway axis uh, cause the uh, your gantry to run into fixtures or whatever because it never found the, the plate Okay, now to actually demonstrate this in operation, we'll just uh, jog the, the tool up a little bit here, move it over, and we'll put in our pipe over a position here, and then I need a third hand here to do this movie. Okay, and then what we'll do is we come over, jog the uh, tool down into the pipe, and then click on the centering tool button here, like so. And now what happens is the gantry is moved until your tool touches one side of the pipe and it goes over touches the other side of the pipe and it moves up. And it goes back to the other side. Now it's touched off four points on the pipe, it knows where the center of the pipe is and it moves your gantry exactly to that position. Uh, the mock screen, now the readouts show the current coordinates for where the center of that position is underneath your crosshair. If you want to center your workpiece at that location, you just come up and click uh, 0x and 0y and that'll put those uh, to the They'll set up your machine so it's zeroed on that look spot that you found on your workpiece. Now uh, the uh, the other simple tool that we have here is the the angle iron. Uh, I've set this up just with a alligator clip so we can clip it on to the uh, the other lead that we have here. So there's the alligator clip hooking up this. Again, you want to start off by touching the plate. Make sure that you actually have a good connection. And then if you want to find, say, the, the edge of your workpiece over here, what we can do is move the, uh, the tool so that it's up against the edge here, like so. And we'll come over to the screen and we'll tell it to search in the negative Y direction. So we click on that. And I come back over here and the tool will move in until it hits the edge of the tool. The, uh, the plate. And uh, now we've got our cutting edge set right up to the edge of our workpiece and uh, it can all be done very accurately. Of course you have to make sure you, you get your tool set so that the, the furthest out point is going to touch the plate. And that's it.